On Friday nights in Alito, all eyes are on high school football. What are you going to do with this? But as the district, we have to get comfortable with having uncomfortable conversations. Yes. Confronts racism. It's out here. It's overt. We can see it now. It's, it's, it's here. A former star player is asking for everyone's eyes once again. I heard the stories about people's experiences there. I'm like, wow, like, what's going on here? You see, a small group of Alito ninth graders have been disciplined after pretending to auction off black classmates on Snapchat. And every time I bent down to pick it up, I wanted to scream. After that, these fake slave auction flyers were found around school roads and campuses. So when I saw that, I was like, you know, what, what, what's, what's the deal? It tore apart Ryan Newsom. He played receiver for Alito, Texas, and Arizona State. He even helped Alito secure two state titles before graduating in 2015. But he's also known around town for his role in organizing this Black Lives Matter protest last summer, a march that got lots of support. However, I'm proud of, of, of the steps that we've taken. And at the same time, I would say, hey, man, we have some issues that we, we, we need to address. Newsom isn't painting all of Alito with a bad brush. I would never do that because that's the exact thing that we as black people are trying to eradicate. But the star is asking this affluent community with less than 1% African American population to stop and stand up for their students of color. It's really opportunity for growth, for people to really learn. Much like they did for him. In Alito, I'm Matt Howerton.